Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're here doing the full moon reading for your sign. This is occurring on the 19th of November. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And if you do enjoy my readings, please don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. So Taurus, this full moon, okay, this eclipse moment all right we've got a full lunar a uh, partial lunar eclipse excuse me in your sign as well so this is not just any old full moon this uh, packs a big punch especially for you guys this is all about you this particular full moon does have people looking at their money their career what they do for a living um also their personal values their personal goals and some people looking to make a really bit looking to um really shake things up a little bit we do have uh jupiter in Aquarius as well. So some of you might be really thinking of making some big change in your life and you might, uh, you know, be acting, you might, uh, you might find yourself in some cases being a little bit impulsive or at least to other people, what looks like being a little bit impulsive. All right. And you know, the thing is with uh, eclipses, the energy lasts for about six months after the eclipse happens. And the eclipses really do bring about revelations, endings, sometimes twists of fate, and situations that help you get out of your comfort zone. So this uh, this eclipse falls in your first house, your house of you. And when we have the first house, it's represented by Mars, which is Aries energy. All right. And the tarot card for Mars is actually the tower. Okay. So some big change possibly. Now this could be change within you. This can just be some epiphany moments that you have. Things come to light. All right. But this is, you know, of course, focused on you, your values, your worth, the impression that you give to the world, your personality. Um, this is, you may be finding your yourself, you know, on a day-to-day -day level, looking to change your appearance in some way, maybe to uh, get a haircut, a new wardrobe, right? That first house is all about you, your impressions, your values, um, you as a person, all right? You may actually be evolving as well. A lot of people are going through um, of going through a spiritual growth as well at this time. Okay. And especially at this time of year, it's just really more profound than ever before. So you may be really feeling as though it's time to make some change. We also have the 8th house energy coming into play for you here. And the 8th house is actually ruled by Scorpio. Scorpio is, of course, represented by the death card. So we did just have a new moon in Scorpio on the 4th of November. So some of you might be really, really making some deep changes in your life. And this could not just not necessarily just in your uh, external environment, although that's definitely a possibility, especially where money and resources are involved or your career path or, you know, um, but this can also be that spiritual growth, that spiritual change, you're evolving, you're growing, you're learning. And uh, that Scorpio death card energy can certainly um, help you along the way. But the eighth house, all right, transformational area of your life, it's about your shared resources, intense emotions. The eighth house also brings about a little bit of mystery, inheritances, shared assets, all right, the things that you share with somebody else, your shared money, all right, and, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, about, uh, for those of you uh, who are single or in a partnership, even it also brings about your sexuality as well, all right, so this may be a time for new loves or uh, making improvements in your current romantic partnerships as well, possibly, all right, so a lot of things going on for you guys, Taurus. And we have evolution. There's that transformation. And we have hidden path. So the evolution card, this is really all about changes and changes within you, external changes, changes in the world and the environment that's around you as well. Perhaps you are looking to make some big change. This also has to do with personal growth and transformation. So the signs are all pointing to just some really, uh, really important changes that you're going through on some level. You're all at different, different stages of life. You're all at different stages of your own personal evolution as well. So, you know, sometimes it can just 
really be as simple as going out and, you know, getting that haircut and getting that wardrobe and so that you maybe feel a little bit um, more comfortable in your skin, so to speak, okay, or the impressions that you give. Are you looking for a career change, right? Um, you know, are you going on interviews? Are you looking to just freshen up your appearance a little bit? Are you making those deeper changes within you? Your uh, relationships, the way you handle money, money is a big thing um, at the moment, okay, especially with this eclipse and full moon energy, all right? And so you may be really thinking about how you make your money or, you know, what aspects of finances that you actually share with somebody else, all right? If you are um, feeling a little bit, how should we say, uh, if you're with... Uh, you know, married or have a significant other, you may be thinking of blending your finances, but you also might be thinking of separating them as well. All right. And you know, it's like, I don't really want anyone else controlling my money. So you might um, be making, taking that under consideration as well. We have the hidden path coming in here also. And the hidden path shows that there's some important decisions, um, first and foremost, uh, spiritually, all right, your inner workings, okay, your mindset, your belief systems, and you just know that you're going through some change, but you not, might not necessarily know at the moment where it's all leading, where is it all heading, right? And it's just this, you know, just this big period of this growth and evolution and, you know, and sometimes we just don't, we don't know what's happening every single step of the way and that's perfectly okay. All right. The path forward is hidden. You know, there's something there. All right. And you might just be starting to try and sort that out. Don't worry about it. Rome was not built in a day. So if you know that you need to make some change or you've just got this little bit of spark, Okay, um, don't worry, make some plans, take the step back, right? And everything will unfold as it should. The hidden path is about a spiritual journey as well. Okay, and you know, this um, personal evolution. And so the hidden path uh, is that reminder of spiritual alchemy. Oh, I just split the deck with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I don't usually look when I split the deck there, but I happen to notice it. Um, but with the hidden path, when your head, heart, body, mind, soul are all in alignment, anything is possible. So follow your heart, listen to your intuition, and you will certainly not go astray. You have the ability to manifest anything into your life that you want. So let's pull your tarot and see what we've got for you. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. All right. Nice. We've got the Seven of Cups. Knight of Wands. Three of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Very nice energy. We've got the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And I just happened to notice underneath that is Temperance Energy, bringing balance, peace, harmony, and spiritual alchemy into the mix for you as well. But the Three of Wands is the energy at the bottom of the deck. It's the underlying forces that are uh, playing a role, okay? Kind of like in the background or even something that hasn't quite come to fruition yet. The Three of Wands is an energy of knowing what you want and waiting for the right moment, the right time, the right opportunity to come in. Three of Wands is a little bit of an expansion energy showing that your way forward is completely open. This guy, right? He's looking out to the for to the future and he's not looking at the past or anything um, that he doesn't want, right? He's got his eyes on the prize and he's only looking forward. All right. And so this is really your time to move forward spiritually, mentally, emotionally, um, your career path. I mean, hey, we've got the Ten of Pentacles coming in and the Ace of Pentacles. So that's always nice. All right. So, you know, if you're looking for a new job, a new home, Ten of Pentacles, a new home. Okay. Um, or you're really looking at how you can you know, use your, uh, use your gifts, your talents to your advantage. Now it's interesting. Um, I do have to say because the eighth house energy can quite often deal with inheritances and the 10 of pentacles is a generational, 
um, generational money. It can also represent inheritances. So there may be something that comes to light. It could be that you get a business loan or something from a family member. You may actually get a little bit of an inheritance, maybe a living inheritance as well. And this may be uh, something that you really need to build your build your way forward, all right? Maybe open up your own business, okay? Um, put a down payment on a house, uh, anything along those lines, all right? You may have some financial assistance from somewhere within your family. But the Ten of Pentacles comes in um, with this moon as to what is hidden, what's being revealed, all right? Your potential for long-term success, for providing for your family. Again, maybe those inheritances, a living inheritance, hopefully, for you, all right, but the Ten of Pentacles brings about abundance and success in your material world. It also brings about, um, you know, being really confident in your belief system as well, your values, all right, and it is a it is an energy of long term success as well and stability coming in. Um, we do have an Ace of Pentacles, so you certainly have some new energy that's coming in here. Okay, either new or improved. You may have a situation also in your career path, right? Maybe you've got an opportunity to get that promotion or to go into a different position or a different, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of a hiccup, I'm sorry, um, a little bit of a, a different department maybe even, okay? Um, maybe even a different industry altogether, but we do have an Ace of Pentacles, which can absolutely show a new work opportunity that's coming in here, a new financial opportunity that leads you ultimately to success, all right, or to at least that stability, those improvements in your life that you may be looking to make, all right. We're releasing any kind of fly-by-night kind of energy. The Knight of Wands comes in as what you're releasing with this full moon. Now, the Knight of Wands um, you know, you could possibly be re uh, releasing a relationship, a partnership of some sort that maybe does not have a long-term commitment, something that maybe uh, has run its course. It could have been really fun. Okay. But maybe your person is a little bit immature. Maybe they're non-committal. So, you know, with this 10 of pentacles, you have the ability here to commit to something for the long term. All right. But the Knight of Pent, the Knight of, excuse me, Wands, okay, if that's not a person in your life, all right, it may also be a situation, right? If you're on a career path, the Knight of Wands can indicate a career path where, you know, it's kind of fun, okay? Maybe it's something that, you know, you're really passionate about even, okay? Something that takes up a lot of energy as well. But maybe something that does not give you that safety and security that you're looking for, and, you know, there's a lot of those jobs out there, right? But if you're looking to level up to that Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands energy may not be the key, all right? There's something a little bit different. There's something better. You've got options. You've got opportunities, all right? But the Knight of Wands can also, you know, be that reminder from spirit to take a calm, grounded approach to something, okay? And to maybe not be too impulsive. The Knight of Wands tends to be impulsive, right? And in order to find our way forward, long-term success, okay, there may be some contemplation that you need to do. We do have the Seven of Cups, right, that brings in some imagination, but also some contemplation, all right? The Three of Pentacles, right, you may be uh, collaborating with someone or there might be someone that you're looking for some advice. The three of wands is typically a fairly patient energy. It's getting ready to go, getting ready to do something, but not quite there taking some action yet. All right. So that knight of wands brings in, sure, a lot of energy, a lot of passion. All right. But it also brings in those impulsive actions. Okay. So there's a couple other energies here that kind of slow you down just a little bit. But the Knight of Wands can also, you know, uh, indicate your evolution, all right? And, you know, maybe you are somebody that uh, has been a little bit non-committal in certain areas of your life, and you've been enjoying yourself um, to a certain degree, but maybe now it's time to settle down in some way, okay? Your, you know, take a little bit of a slower approach, something, you know, a part of you or your environment, okay, that really does, um, 
you know, keep you on, how should I say, keep you on the straight and narrow a little bit. All right. Especially as far as relationships go. Um, because you know, if you're, if you're in a situation where your biological clock is ticking, the Knight of wands can represent, you know, if you're single, okay, the Knight of wands can represent the type of person that you, that you may usually go for, or even how you, um, have been conducting yourself in areas of like love and romance. All right. Or even money as well. It's that, you know, living for the moment, the here and the now, and while that's perfectly fine, okay, it's great to live for the moment, all right, but you might be looking for something that's a little bit more stable, okay? The Knight of Wands is, is known for being successful, passionate, virile, exciting, okay, but not necessarily one that's known for being committed, solid, secure, and stable, all right? <clears throat> but you can also be following a goal that does bring in that passion, that excitement. We've got the Ace of Pentacles here as well. All right, follow the new. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles shows your potential to find new things, to make improvements in your life, shows you uh, a new sense of uh, self. Okay, um, a new business opportunity, a new financial opportunity, a gift possibly comes in with the Ace of Pentacles, right? It is a very lucky, very fortunate energy. This also shows that if you're on a manifestation journey, you have the ability to manifest your big long-term goals, big money. All right, the Ace of Pentacles leads you a new opportunity, a new way of thinking, okay, a new way of dealing with situations in your life, if you will, and that leads you to that Ten of Pentacles, right? Start small, the seeds, the opportunities, Three of Wands, you're waiting for something, okay, and it shows that you have the potential to realize that Ten of Pentacles, that abundance, that dream, that security, all right, whatever that looks like for you, okay, because this can be a, a personal journey as well, and you really coming into your own sense of self, your own self-worth even as well, right? And, you know, sometimes sometimes we fall off the bandwagon. Sometimes we forget exactly how much potential that we have or what we have to offer. And this is putting you on the right path. So if you're on a manifestation journey, get cracking, okay? Because this shows what you have the potential to pull into your life. And, you know, it just shows the pathway is open here. All right, and so really kind of think about with that hidden path energy, all right, get your heart and your body, your mind and your soul all uh, in alignment there. And when you do that and when you get your, um, set your intentions, all right, then you have the ability to track it in whatever it is you're looking for. All right, we do have the seven of cups here and the seven of cups is a lot of different options that are available to you right now the seven of cups brings in an energy of opportunities of choices and uh, but it also represents your dreams your fantasies all right and basically this full moon energy this eclipse energy shows that you have potential to realize your hopes and your dreams to turn your visions into reality the Seven of Cups is always a reminder to follow your heart. All right. Follow your heart and maybe even do what you love. Okay. And, you know, you may have new creative projects coming in. We've got creation there, right? Um, you know, new workplace opportunities coming in, right? Think about it, right? Is there something that you really want to do? Something you've got your heart set on. And you certainly do have the potential to, um, you know, achieve your goals, okay, whatever that happens to be for you, your manifestation journey. And when we're talking about manifestation, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is absolutely what we're looking for. So it just shows the Seven of Cups here that the world is your oyster right now, okay? You've got a lot of potential, a lot of opportunities that are presenting themselves to you, all right? And, you know, but you do need to take some action. The three of wands, while it is a wonderful energy, it is one of waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for opportunities, okay, waiting for doors to open, all right, and there's no obstacles in that three of wands, but the three of wands and the seven of, wand, uh, seven of cups together, both can be energies of procrastination. They can both be those energies of 
waiting for the absolute moment of perfection before making a decision or before taking action. And unfortunately, what sometimes happens, it's a little bit of a reminder that when we're in the energy where we don't take any action because we're waiting for the perfect time, the perfect circumstance, um, even the perfect opportunity, sometimes we can actually end up getting ourselves stuck. Think of a career move. There's always going to be a project that you're not done. There's always going to be, you know, um, something left unfinished or, you know, anything. Uh, there's always going to be that hesitation or that doubt. Okay. There's always going to be those things coming in. But if you know deep down that your career path is not going to bring you the success and the abundance with that 10 of pentacles that you're looking for, okay, then there's no better time like now. And sometimes we can hesitate with that seven of cups, that three of wands, right? Because, you know, we're expecting, you know, expecting like just like rays of sunshine from heaven or something coming down, just dropping the perfect opportunity into our lap. And sometimes, yes, that does happen. However, most times things are like we need to evaluate the situation. We need to see a vision, okay, of let's say someone with this Ace of Pentacles, um, you know, let's say someone came up to you tomorrow and said, hey, I have this job opportunity for you and I think this will put you on the path to success. I think this will be something that's really wonderful for you. And you might look at it and maybe it's not 100% what you think that you were looking for. Maybe your, you know, the hours of work might not be perfect for you or, you know, um, maybe the work location may be a little bit further than you wanted to drive. All right. But we got to look beneath that sometimes. Right. And we got to look underneath the surface or have a vision of this long term potential. And of course, if something really doesn't feel right, if something's really ick, right, then we're not going to take take advantage of it, right? You're not going to necessarily going to jump on every single opportunity that comes in front of your path because they're not all going to be meant for you. But there is that energy of evaluate on a practical level and then make a decision and take action, right? Because we can hesitate too long sometimes for certain things, right? And you know, we do need to look at the pros and the cons, and we do need to look at the long-term potential for something, all right? And sometimes it just comes in with that energy of we don't feel as though we're enough or feel as though we're worthy, all right? Especially if something seems like a little bit out of our league, right? Sometimes it's like, oh, I don't know. That looks like a really great opportunity, but I don't know if I have the skills. Look at this laundry list, laundry list of skills that, that you need. And, uh, you know, but you know what, sometimes that list of skills, it's a wish list that comes out from whoever put the job posting up or, you know, whoever wrote the damn thing or something like that. And you know what, they'd be happy with probably half of that. Okay. So look at the potential and you know what, sometimes you just need to grab the bull by the horns and go for it. All right. But you know, reminder there to not get stuck in that energy and that if you are presented with choices with options right get ready to take action but also evaluate that circumstance and make that decision and people may be really important for your path forward to find your success your abundance your stability the three of pentacles is an energy of creation creating the life that you want all right, getting it, getting back the stability and security or even finding it in the first place. And but you, there may be something that you need to learn. The three of pentacles can be a card of learning. All right. It can also be one where you may actually step into a role that puts you in the driver's seat, puts you in the position of teacher, leader, guide to other people. And, you know, we've got this one guy, he's standing on this bench, right? And he's imparting some wisdom, information, or knowledge to other people. And they're just looking at him like, oh, really? All right. But you could either be the person teaching, okay? Or you could be one of these two who have something to learn. So, you know, you may be contemplating going back to school, maybe taking a couple of courses, a couple of classes, but you certainly have the potential to partner up with the right people, maybe even to lead people as well. All right. You may be that person that other people find a little bit inspiring. Okay. Or you've got something to offer, 
but that three of pentacles does represent teamwork, collaboration, um, building something, using those creative uh, energies, okay, to really, um, you know, create a lot of stability and security in your life. So, but you might have the potential there to really step up to the plate and, you know, you may have those leadership qualities that someone is looking for. There's certain skills. Sometimes we don't feel self-confident. Okay, especially how we make our money, but there's, you know, or if you're thinking of changing industries or something, right? But the thing is, is that there's a lot of skills that are transferable that cannot be taught. And you have those, all right? You have those within you. And, you know, it's those kind of um, hidden gifts and hidden talents that can really help us along our way. So if there's something you don't know, don't be afraid to ask questions at Three of Pentacles. All right, we do have two threes coming out here for you. And threes are uh, the number of teamwork and collaboration. It brings in a creative energy. And threes are also the number of spirituality, self-expression, right? Expressing yourself, your goals, your dreams. Number 33 is a master teacher number showing a spiritual evolution. So you may be in that position where you can help be the guiding force for other people. Perhaps if you've had um, spiritual growth, okay, you might have a potential there to make a living doing it. And wouldn't that be nice to help other people along your path while also, you know, um, you know, having a career, so to speak, rather unconventional, but hey, you know, something that's really fun anyway, right? Something that's really positive and you might have that potential to do that and uh, to pursue that avenue in order to, you know, help other people and make some money at the same time, right? So anyway, so that three of pentacles there, this is all brings in creation, okay, but also brings in that teamwork collaboration and possibly even taking that leadership role in some area of your life, some aspect, but this 10 of pentacles right in the middle, this ace of pentacles, oh yeah, very nice energy. So I'm going to leave that there for you, Taurus, but I'm going to close out your reading here with a few messages from your spirit guides. All right. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Woo, thank you. And there's four. Okay. So we have focus on the positive. Mm-hmm. All right, Fo always focus on moving forward. Always focus on what you want, what your goal is. If you're on a manifestation journey, that is one of the best pieces of advice there to focus on the positive. We always want to manifest from a place of abundance, never from a place of lack. Always manifest from keywords that you want, that you desire, all right? Never from what you don't want because wherever your attention goes, your energy flows and everything is just energy. And if we focus on the negatives or things that we don't want to attract in our life, that's what we're going to get. So focus on the positive, no matter what your situation happens to be. And you will always find a solution and you'll always find a way forward. We have everyone has value. Yes, they do. All right. And including you. And we always, you know what, sometimes, you know, we're really confident in our abilities and other times when things are difficult or when things don't seem to be going our way, sometimes we forget that, how valuable we are and what we have to offer. And again, those transferable skills even, okay? So everyone has value um, on, you know, some level and including you, right? Everyone does. Um, everyone means something. We're not all here to change the world, all right? Sometimes we're just here to learn to be human and that's difficult in itself, right? And uh, so, you know, don't forget how much you have to offer, Thoughts create your reality. Well, there you go. All right. Focus on the positive thoughts, create your reality, right? Your, um, you know, your, wherever you put your intentions, that's what you attract back into your life. Um, thoughts become things, right? The manifestation energy that you can really use, um, with this full moon. Okay. And so that's a big, big, big reminder there. And we'll just sandwich those in between that. Uh, we'll just sandwich the ace of pentacles in between those, shall we? All right. And then we also have love is your energy. Okay. And you know, love is the highest vibration of all. And if you have the ability to love what you do or love your life, you love your situations that are around you, then absolutely take it, make that change. 
um, you know, focus on what you love, right? When we focus on that, all right, then that is what we attract, all right? Those positive emotions, that positive energy that's coming in. And with the love your energy, okay, or love is your energy, I should say, you may actually have the ability to attract, if you're single, new people into your life that lead you down this path to this generational success, happiness, this, you know, um, you know, this togetherness, right? Marriage, if that's in the, if that's uh, part of your belief system, not everyone believes in marriage, all right, but this family tree that comes in with this 10 of pentacles, right? So you may have a new opportunity here, all right, to partner up with someone for a long, long time, something secure, something stable. So uh, that ace of pentacles can be that little bit of a diamond in the rough maybe for you all right or being an earth energy okay maybe even a perfect match a perfect pairing a soulmate even so I'm going to leave that there for you guys all right I hope there was something in this reading that resonated in some way if there was please don't forget to like and subscribe I thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you have a great eclipse a great full moon and um, I will see you guys next time Bye bye